my friends, I have embarked on my first water fast, my first attempt. It ended up being a little over three and a half days. Um, spoiler alert, sorry. Um, and yeah, in this video, I'm gonna tell you about it. Yeah, enjoy. It was fun. Whatever. Would you believe? I have been fasting now for three days. This is my third day, so it'll be 72 hours around like seven o'clock tonight. Um, it's going pretty well. The first day and then most of the second day, I felt mostly fine, just a little hungry, but nothing terrible. Um, still completely functional, right? Um, yesterday evening, I started feeling quite unwell, just, it's just the hunger, like, that. that's all it is, just my stomach became like, it was like a star that died and collapsed in on itself, <laughs> that's what it felt like, um, and then this morning it still felt the same, I'm um, sleeping well, which is nice, despite feeling very hungry, I've slept well, um, and this morning I felt, you know, just super hungry, um, and didn't want to do anything, just wanted to lay down. Thankfully, my kids were gracious this morning and played by themselves while I laid around for a while. And after doing that, I started feeling quite a bit better. And the hunger's kind of come and gone a bit. Like, I always feel it a little bit. Um, but it's, like, right now it's not so bad. Sometimes it'll feel more, like, clenching, like, <laughs> but um, not too bad. I've had kind of, like, a mild headache most of the time. I'm probably not drinking enough water. I'm so bad with that. Um, cause water is just super boring and I love, you know, I love delicious beverages. You know me. Um, but I'm going to keep going. I was going to try for a week, but just with the timing, the seventh day will be father's day. And so I'm probably going to stop the day before. Um, assuming I make it that long. I don't know. Uh, I'm probably going to stop the day before so that I can enjoy Father's Day. We're going to my in-law's house and I'm going to cook out and everything. <clears throat> and, um, yeah, hopefully I'll make it that long. I've heard and seen many people say that after like the third day, you get over the hump of feeling very hungry and the hunger just kind of goes away and you feel normal. So I want to, you know, I'm at least sticking it out through today to see if I get to that point, see if tomorrow I just feel normal. I'm really hoping <laughs> that's the case. I've been fine. Like I've been able to function mostly fine, <laughs> mostly fine. It's uh, I think the hardest part is just wanting to taste things, <laughs> right? Like, um, fasting is definitely an experience. I think people should try because even in this short time, you know, I'm on the third day, I'm seeing how, like, I just have this compulsion to eat because I enjoy it because it's pleasurable, but I don't actually have to, <laughs> like, I'm totally fine after not eating for nearly three days. Um, so, and I think I've lost like a few pounds, so we'll see. Um, how that goes after I've ended the fast. I've been taking my, weighing myself every morning. Um, so we'll see what I end up at. And then if I gain any or all of it back after I start eating again. Um, but yeah, so this is, uh, this is a good, good experience thus far. And I will check back in with you soon. Okay. So it is now Saturday. Um, and I actually ended up breaking my fast yesterday on Friday. I wanted to wait and break it today. Um, originally I'd wanted to go for seven days, but the seventh day is Father's Day. I think I mentioned that. So um, I wanna be able to celebrate with everybody. Um, so I, was, I wanted to wait until today, but I ended up breaking it yesterday, Friday, um, <clears throat> because I just really still was not feeling well. I was feeling worse. Um, you know, my stomach was in a huge knot. I was getting like, acid reflux, what felt like kind of acid reflux, which was quite uncomfortable. And that still hasn't fully gone away, although I've been eating, um, for a day now, <clears throat> but, um, yeah, it's like, 
I had stuff to do. I had to go out trucking my kids around. It's like 90 degrees outside. I had like no energy, you know, just dragging myself. Um, you know, like I could still function, but I was just like, felt like I was just winded. I was having trouble not mouth breathing because I was just like so low energy. I was winded. Um, just walking around basically. Um, <clears throat> yeah. So I ended up breaking the fast Friday morning at around 10 AM. So that means I fasted for a total of 87 hours. Wow. That's pretty good. I think for my first attempt. Um, yeah. Um, I was hoping to get a little boost in energy and not stop feeling as hungry on the fourth day. Cause I've heard that generally happens around the fourth day, but it did not. <laughs> Maybe it would if I had continued going a little further, but I don't, or a little longer, but I don't know. Um, <clears throat> one thing though, is that my cat won't stop meowing at the door. Apologies. Um, Moose, you're distracting me. Shut up. I really hate that cat. <laughs> um, so one thing I didn't do this fast was I didn't take any electrolytes. I wanted to, I had ordered some, um, it's called Relight from the Redmond Real Salt people, Redmond Real Salt. <laughs> um, and it was supposed to come on like my second day of fasting, but the shipping was delayed or whatever. And I still haven't got it, gotten it. So maybe that would have helped. I, I'm not sure about that stuff because it has like stevia, um, and natural flavors. So it feels like kind of cheating if you're drinking something yummy, but it'll only be once a day. So I'm sure it's fine. So the next time I try a fast, assuming I get the stuff in the mail eventually, um, I'm going to try it having electrolytes once a day and see if that makes a big difference or not. Um, the, was a Thursday night, Another symptom I had was my, my legs and like, um, my thighs were really like sore and crampy. So maybe it was an electrolyte thing. Um, and maybe that would help. So I'm going to try the relight electrolytes next time I attempt to fast. And then hopefully the time after that, there's one other electrolyte thing I really want to try. It's like top tier, um, stuff. <laughs> I'll put, I forgot to even look up what it was called. I can't remember. Um, so I'll put it up on the screen for you, but it's like pretty expensive, um, like concentrated seawater from some special place. So it has like tons of trace minerals and people say that it really is, uh, seems to work really well. Um, yeah. So <laughs> hopefully I'll try that stuff out. Um, and we'll see if I can go longer next time. Um, so I definitely lost some weight during this three and a half day fast. Um, let's see. So the fast began at 7 p.m. on Monday. So after I finished dinner around 7 p.m. And that's when I started fasting. And then Tuesday morning when I woke up, my weight was 179.2, which was actually kind of high. Um, I'd forgotten to take it on Monday, but then, yeah, like on Sunday it was 179, but then most of the days before it's been more around like 177, 178 is where, it's, where, where I've been hovering. So I'm not sure why I was a bit higher on Tuesday. Um, but then on Wednesday, after a full day of fasting, it was 176.2. On Thursday, it was 174.0. And then on Friday, the day I ended the fast that morning, it was 172.4. And then this morning, Saturday, 173.2. Um, so I'm going to check back in with you one more time for the end of this video in a couple more days and see how much weight I have regained. Um, hopefully some of this weight loss will stick. I've heard from other people that fasting does seem to bring about like a lasting weight loss. You know, obviously you're going to gain a little bit back when you start eating again, but, um, I'm going to try not to eat like a total pig 
are a bunch of trash on Father's Day. <laughs> There's going to be a feast, but there will be good, healthy stuff there, too. So I will um, try and stick to that and not go overboard, overboard, and then continue with my PD summer weight loss diet plans. That's fourth. <laughs> and um, yeah, I'll check back in with you in a few more days and let you know where my weight's at. Hopefully it'll still be lower. And then hopefully after my next fast, I will be down below 170. I haven't been below 170 in years. So um, I'm hoping that that will happen. Yeah. <laughs> I will see you again soon. Bye. Hello, my friends. Um, it is now Wednesday. Yeah, it's Wednesday. So I've been... It's been several days since I broke my fast. Um, and here's my weight results, y'all. So yeah, the last day that I recorded was on Saturday and that's, my weight was 173.2. That was the day after I ended my fast. Sunday, my morning weight was 175.0. Monday, 176.0, Tuesday, 176.0, and today was 176.6. So, um, definitely creeping up. Hopefully it won't creep up anymore. And I'll stay in the 176 range, because that means I will have lost like a pound or two that stayed off. It was a short fast, you know, it's only three and a half days, so I don't know what I can really expect in terms of weight loss from something like that. But um, I'm looking forward to the next one. I'm gonna try and make it a week next time. Um, gonna take the electrolytes and hopefully that will help. Um, I have a couple of other reflections, um, experiences during my fast that I didn't think to mention last time, but a couple of things that were really nice <clears throat> that I noticed as, um, I've gone back into eating again is how, I, I don't know if you noticed that I clear my throat a lot, but just my, my throat and my sinuses in this whole area often feels kind of stuffed up. I mean, pretty much all the time, it doesn't matter what sort of food I'm eating. It doesn't seem like, at least I can't identify like certain foods that definitely do this to me and certain foods that don't, but I always pretty much have some amount of congestion, which is annoying. I didn't have that while I was fasting. I didn't have any congestion. I could just breathe through my nose, particularly at night. It's annoying because I want to try and start mouth taping every night. I've done it a couple of times, but it's just that often in the evenings when I like lay down for bed, I just can't breathe super well through my nose. And so it's like, I don't want to put the mouth tape on because then I start getting kind of anxious because I just can't breathe very well. So um, that was actually quite nice. Not having just like the phlegm in the back of my throat that I'm clearing out and like having clearer sinuses while I was fasting. That was very nice. And I, um, again, like to be able to embark on a longer fast so I can um, have that for a longer period of time. And maybe I'll just try and mouth tape while I'm fasting because I intend to continue doing periodic fasts, right? Um, what's the other thing? So I didn't, I don't know that I really noticed it while I was fasting, but I feel like I was, um, like my mood was decent. I remember when I did the milk fast, I just felt like depressed <laughs> the whole time. Doesn't exactly speak highly for the milk, but um, I was just depressed a lot of the time. This time my mood was okay. And I also noticed that I was pretty patient. Like that's kind of how I tend to, um, look at my moods is like from like uh really impatient and irritable through just like patient and chill and can handle it that's like the spectrum of moods um and i was despite not feeling well i was quite patient like with my kids and everything 
through the fast and then I noticed like basically as soon as I'd broken the fast, I started to get annoyed and I lost a bit of patience with them. So, I mean, maybe it was the fasting, you know, maybe food has some kind of effect on my uh, mood or whatever you want to call it in that way. Or, I mean, I was praying a lot more uh, while I was fasting, like more than I usually do. I mean, I pray every day, but um, not as much as I probably should. And I was making that a focus during the fast. So maybe that was why I had increased patience. I should try praying that much all the time and see if that helps. <laughs> um, but yeah, so those are two other things that I noticed. I'm, uh, uh, yeah, like I said, I'm looking forward to doing it again. Maybe my husband will do it with me ne next time. That'll be nice. We'll see. And I will be sure to tell you about it. And you know you're super interested. Something else I really want to do is a watermelon juice fast because holy heck, I love watermelon juice and I'm just waiting, <laughs> waiting for watermelon season and hopefully I'll be able to get a whole bunch of good ones and uh, do me a watermelon juice fast. That'll be really fun. So anyway, that's been my fasting, ex my, um, my experience with my first fasting attempt. We'll do it again soon and see how it goes. And um, yeah, thank you very much.